So in the Yidbodedut, when you look for something to do tshuva on, to come closer to Hashem Yidbarach, so what that you need to do is to make a, a root canal. You need to come to the beginning. So how are you going to do that? You're not a genius, you're not a prophet, you don't have a divine spirit to put your finger on the problem, on the source of the problem. On that I said, when you start your Yidbodedut, you need to hold the level of truth. And the truth got that nature to bring you further and further, deeper and deeper, closer and closer. And from A, you will walk to B. And from B, you will understand C. And then D and E and F. And slowly, slowly, until in the end, you will reach the, the, the source, the beginning of, of your issues, of your problem. So for an example, now you want to do it Buddha Dut. Great, no problem. You have an issue with your peace in the house, with your economic, your panasa, your money, in your tshuva, you forget things. Okay, find that subject that you want to talk about and what you should do with it. Go to a quiet place and just talk to Hashem, to the Creator, like you talk to your best friend and just say the truth. Tell him I'm confused, I don't know what to do. I keep forgetting everything I'm learning. I learned that rule, that halakha so many times, I don't remember it. How can it be? How can it be? Please help me to understand. How can it be that I forget all of the time? Let me remember. Fix my brain, Hashem. Help me. I keep on forgetting. Help me, please. And those words will bring you to that place that your prayers will be answered and that you will understand the truth. For an example, you come to Hashem and you tell him, Hashem, my wife and I were fighting all of the time. Please help me that I'm not going to upset her. Okay, now you already found something. In the beginning you said, Hashem, we're fighting. And then you said that I'm not going to ask as, uh, upset her. Great. So maybe you're fighting because you're upsetting her. Great. Wonderful. You're upsetting her. So that is the reason for your fights. So now... Is it the last, the deepest layer of your fights, of the reason why you're fighting? No. So ask yourself, okay, Hashem, now I learn that we're fighting because I'm upsetting her. That's what she's saying. You're upsetting me. Great. In what? What am I doing, Hashem? I don't do anything. Maybe I do. What is she saying? Let's think. And then like that you climb and you go and you understand from one word, you understand another thing. And you understand one thing from the other until in the end, finally, you're going to reach the complete answer to all of your questions. Okay, Hashem, last time I saw that when we were fighting, so we were talking about the children, who will take them, who will not. And she mentioned to me something that she already mentioned in a different situation. And maybe those two things are connected. Oh, Hashem, thank you for opening my eyes. Thank you, Hashem, for reminding me of that situation. And Hashem will help you and will dress himself inside of your conversation. In your prayer is Hashem Idbarach himself. You can find the message and the wisdom of Hashem inside of your prayer. Listen to your own prayers. Listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. Those are the words of Hashem Idbarach to you. Even though, even though that you just said those words, those words just been said through you to you.